Thank you so much, Michael. I'm very, very excited to see so many good, fun kids. And remember kids, I know Uncle Michael gave you a lot of things about focus and concentration and stuff like that. But don't worry, there's nothing serious that's going to happen today. It's going to be all fun, fun, because Miss Vijay is going to give you a lot of fun. But you will eventually become magicians if you stick by doing what we are asking you to do. So today is going to be a little learning and little fun. And from onwards, you will start loving numbers and loving math so much that you will start becoming magician. And everyone will ask you, where did you learn this trick from? So there's no trick. It's just your brain power and just regularity and discipline. Uh, as Mr. Michael said, yes, we are in 80 countries across the globe. So 80 countries, I cannot count on my fingers and I do not remember the names of these countries. But UC Mass is in 80 countries across the globe and has more than 6,000 locations across the globe. So children like you, 3 million children have got trained in UC Mass and you are also going to be one of them. And you will enjoy this program with the due course and you will start loving numbers and loving math if you stay regular with the program. So no more lectures today, no more uh, boring talks, just some fun with numbers, which will take you to the next level of loving numbers. So over to Miss Vijay. Thank you, Mega. That was Mega. amazing. You summed up everything in very few minutes. Amazing, amazing intro. Thank you. Um, hi, kids. How are you? Good. This is Mrs. BJ. Are you ready? Are you ready for some fun? Sure. Um, there are some amazing UCMA students waiting, <laughs> waiting for um, you to see how amazing they can do so many things with number and they're going to do some demo. That means I'm going to call up some numbers and they're going to do calculate that in their heads that they give you the correct answer every time. Are you ready to see them? Yes. All right, mm -hmm. I, I'm going to call them. Um, Ms. Sweet uh, for everyone to, for everyone to see you the demo kids, <laughs> All right, you want to and Avish sharing. and Aditya, are you there? Avish, Aditya, are you there too? Yes, Ms. Vichy. All right, beautiful. Can I start with Rakshan first? Rakshan, are you ready, my friend? Yes, uh, Ms. Sure. Vijay? Yes. Uh, to, for the children to see the other kids performing, do we want to stop sharing the screen for a few Yeah, seconds? exactly, yes. I want to see that too, yeah. Thank you. All right. I want everyone to see the demo first. Rakshin, your question coming up. Ready, Rakshin? Sure. All right. So we're going to call out some numbers for our Yusima student named Rakshin. He's going to give some answers for two digit by two digit multiplication questions. Ready, Rakshin? 61 times 78, that is. 4758. That's correct. Next. Are you ready? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Roxanne, Roxanne, yep. I'm going to ask you to do one thing on behalf of all the students. They are amazed that this is a skill. Can you raise your hand or change your camera angle? This way they can see you're not using calculator. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Let them see your hand. Let them see your hand. Yes. Okay, I guess I'll just raise them a little bit higher. Yeah. Okay, sure. All right, all right. <laughs> all right. Now, are you ready for the next question, Roxanne? Yep, yeah, sure. All right, 14 times 26. 384. Uh, 364. Oh, yeah, sorry. Almost got it. Next, 36 times 46. 1656. That's correct. Wow. Hey, I knew you guys, I knew you guys, I knew you guys have a calculator. Lyria or Niklas or Elman. Use your calculator, double check, double check the answer. Oh, yeah. I, just, I can just do it on paper or using my own brain. I, can, I don't need, need calculator. Okay, pump, 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 I can do that. Let's, you, you, let's double check, double check uh, the amazing answer. Go ahead. All right, 95 times 63. That is.
5985? That's correct. 5985 is correct. Amazing. Wow. <laughs> All right. Are you ready for the next question, Rakshan? Yep, sure. All right. 54 times 19. 1026. That's correct. 1026 is correct. Um, are you ready for the next one, Rakshan? Yeah, sure. 79 times 90. 7110. 7116. All right. Oh, guys, put oh. your hands together. Yeah. Yes. Oh, shall we just do some division? Yes. Shall That's we do amazing. some division questions, Rakshan? Yep, yeah, sure. Yes. Uh, we, um, Hi, boys and girls. We're going to do some four digit by one digit division question. Okay, big division question. And Rakshan is going to do it mentally. He's not going to use calculator. He's not going to use the abacus. He's doing the calculation in his head and you see mass way, okay? 1,855 divided by seven. <laughs> Are you muted? Unmute your screen, Rakshan. Yes. Uh, 265. 265 is correct. Okay, shall we do the next division question? Sure. 5,544 divided by 6. 924. 924 is correct. Shall we do the next one? One more and then we'll move on. 1,647 sure. divided by nine. 183. 183 is correct. All right. Shall we do some exponent questions, Rakshin? Yep, yeah, sure. Can you, right. Mr. Vijay, can you, can, you, uh, can you use another student from our center? Oh, yes, yes. Okay, Rakshin, yes. Thank you. Uh, Thank you very much, Rakshin. Thank you, Rakshin. Yes. Okay. All right, Avish. Yeah, Avish and Aditya, are you ready? Yes, beautiful. That's Avish. Michael, this is Avish. How old are you, Avish? Eleven. Eleven. Grade, uh, grade six, right? Yeah. Yes. Good. And All where right. is our Aditya? I have another student doing demo too. Where is my Aditya? Say hi, Aditya. Hi. Hello, right, Aditya. Yes, that's Aditya, Michael. How old are you, Aditya? I'm eight years old. You're what? I'm eight years old. Oh, you're eight. You only grade three. Yeah. Yes. Well, uh, amazing. Go ahead. All right. Are you ready for a single digit 20 rows mental calculation? Yes. Yes. Okay. Ready. Eight, two, seven, three, five. One, four, nine, six, three, six, four, eight, two, seven, eight, five, one, nine, three. That is Aditya. One hundred one. Abish. One hundred one. One hundred one is correct. No way. That's yes. amazing. They did an amazing job. Okay, ready for the next one? So cute, you guys. Yes. Add one, four, five, seven, eight, five, nine, six, three, two, three, one, six, four, seven, nine, eight, two, four, five. That is. Average. Nine. 99. Aditya. 99. 99 is correct. <laughs> I, want, I, want, I want to have the magic power of you guys have. Can I, I know. Um, <laughs> shall we try two digit 10 rows now? Yeah. Uh, we did single digit 20 rows, Michael. Now two digit 10 rows. Okay, increasing the digits now. Ready, guys? Yes. All right. 43. 92, 50, 18, 67, 26, 71, 39, 85, 40. That is Aditya? 531. Um, Avish? 531. 
531 is correct. Ooh. Yes. Double digit 10 rows, Michael. Okay, second question. Ready? 75, 54, 71, 20, 42, 16, 83, 39, 60, 98. That is Aditya. 558. Five, 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 Avish. 558. 558 five, 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 is correct. I got two. I got it with my calculator too. 558. <laughs> but, but you guys are even faster than me. Pop, 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 so pop, pop, pop is amazing, right, Pop, pop? Pop, pop said I cannot easy? believe it. I can't oh. do it that fast. Uh, Michael, wait till they amaze you even more. Next one is three digit five rows. No way, hold on, let me, let me, let me, oh, let me start my calculator, okay? Okay, okay, keep your calculator ready, okay? Go ahead. All right, Michael, uh, sorry, um, Aditya and Avish, ready? Yes. Beautiful. 748, 906, 512, 635, 871, that is, Aditya? Three five seven two. Avish. Three five seven two. Three six seven two. Three Just six seven by two. One number. Okay. Three six seven two. <laughs> yeah, three all by one number. So close. That's okay. Right? Shall we try one more? Last one. Last all right, one. Last one. And right, Michael. And the, and the students want to learn from you today. Okay. Oh Let's yes, do last yes, one. for okay. sure. Nine hundred twenty-four. Six hundred eighty-seven. One hundred nine. 432, 465, that is. Aditya. 2617. Um, Avesh. 2617. 2617 is correct. Yay! Yay, we did it. All right. You guys, you Thank guys you are boys, genius. you have done an amazing job. And I know you impressed those kids who are watching you today. Love you guys, okay? Even impress me, Uncle Michael, lots. Uh, you oh, guys, yes. I, Adina and Avish, you guys are amazing. Um, this is just you, like a magic. Are you? Michael, are you guys? Uh, Michael, did you see their hands? They were up I, in the air and I they were moving it. the I hands. It. I saw this called mental mass. In their mind, in their mind, my brain, they already yes. have an uh, abacus in the brain, right, Adita? Yeah. You have abacus in your brain. You guys, Avish, you guys has a. You guys have some uh, med, uh, superpower. Are you a superhero from a Marvel's Marvel's movie? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Let's let's start answer, the class. Answer, Michael. We are, no, we are in the UC West program. That's where we got so smart like this. Okay. I saw many many our students say, "Teach me, teach me how to do that. Teach me." All right. Now we're gonna we're gonna learn a little bit today, right? Go yes, ahead. Yes, for Ms. sure. Yep. Start. Yes, you Michael. Start. That's what's going to happen next. Um, Yes. So I'm going to do, yeah, yes. Um, are you guys ready for some memory game? Yes. Boys and girls in my class today, okay? So I'm going to show you a slide, okay? And there are going to be some pictures coming up. Miss Vigi, by the way, uh, yes. you, Anton Sinda, all the students uh, pre-class uh, worksheet. They some of them print out already. Do they need the worksheets right now? Um, no, no, no. This one, they're going to see the pictures that's coming up on the screen. They're going to look at it for a few seconds. Yes or no? Oh, they don't need to print. They can just use the, um, the digital one. It's fine with me. Okay. Some already printed out, but that's okay. Oh, that's amazing too. And I hmm. love the hard copy. And don't don't think that I'm a whole old school, but I love that too. So both ways fine, Michael. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. All I want them to have is fun, fun, fun. Okay. And learn at the same time. All right. Okay, so you're going to look at the screen for a few seconds. Did everybody look at the screen? Look at the picture quickly. And I'm going to make it disappear. And it's gone. Okay, look at this one. Okay. All right. No, first go A screen. All right. So you you have to share screen. You have to share screen. You have to share the screen. Oh, okay. Uh, you turn off share screen. Okay. 
Yes, great. Yes. Be patient, guys. Be patient. Be patient. All right. All right. Look at the screen. Everybody, can you see picture A with the a lot of colorful pictures on it? Can everybody see the screen? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Thumbs up, please. Yes, we can see it. We can see it. All right. And that's all the time you have. Can everybody see it? Few seconds only. Go back there, please. All right. Now, um, try to remember as many pictures as you can. If you have a paper and pencil, then can you write it down? I have all the pictures listed in my paper. I know how many are there. What are they also? So I'm going to ask you to tell me. You can unmute your screen to tell me, right? So I will hear you how good your memory skill is, okay? Because the UCMS program is all about your brain and the memory power. Your brain can do magic, okay? All right, who is ready to tell me um, what are the pictures you've seen? You can unmute your screen, I, I can hear you one person at a time. Hello, key. Oh, yeah, you found the key, good. Same okay. person can list all the items that person had seen. Guitar. A hat, an iPad, a vase, and a teddy bear. Beautiful, yeah, that's uh, three, four items you said. Okay, Ball? what's your name? I'm going to give you points. Basketball. For the a goldfish? Okay, so you said uh, four items and then one more? You said teddy bear. Goldfish. Also, and then? Goldfish. Goldfish. Oh, wow. Okay, the same person is talking to me. Am I right? No, they're all different person. Let's do this. No, no, no. Let's different. do this. Guys, guys, uh, you guys uh, want to answer, join the game, raise your hand. We're going to see who's first one raise your hand in the chatting room, in the chatting room, Zoom chatting room. Suri oh, yeah. is the first. So do it in the chat. I'll check it later, okay? Yeah, Suri is the first. Tessa is the second, okay? Suri, yeah. go ahead. You can unmute Suri. Tell all the item, items you saw. Um, an, a hat, an iPad, a vase, a teddy uh -huh. bear, and a goldfish. Beautiful. And anybody else? You can see the second one. All right. Can I move on to the second slide? Are you guys ready for the uh, uh, picture B? Yeah, go ahead. All right. I'm going to move on to the next one, right? Picture B. Look at it. Thank you so much. Okay, Suri, you finished the Suri? No. Go ahead and finish it. Okay, um, watch, pencil, pen, fork, spoon, toothpaste, balloon, tennis ball, clip, whiteboard marker, headband, stapler, toothbrush, battery, scissors, crayon, number one candle, and a key. Oh my goodness, I have all of them. Awesome. Sorry, you, you, you wrote down, you wrote down the pep on the paper? I have the list of, yeah, did she write it down, Michael? Um, I'm I wrote asking. it down after I saw the paper. Sure. Ah, that's good memory. All right, guys. Let's not... <laughs> okay, Miss VG, let's start screen. Okay, guys. Uh, now, now we're done one exercise because the time. All let's right. just, I want let's keep going. To see my display abacus. I'm going to focus my camera to the big abacus, and I'm going to show you the six finger technique. And then uh, the fun, the real fun begins right now. Okay. Okay. Just, can you make my screen bigger, Michael? For them to see? Yeah, we will feature you. We already feature you. Um, Anton? Yeah, yeah, we're good. We're good. To see the big, big yeah. Miss VG, Anton, don't worry about the time. We can, we can, can all the way extend the. Big abacus? The display abacus here? Yeah, we can see it. Oh, okay, good. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Hold it. Uh, I can only go so far. You're going to have to unplug it for, for like five minutes. It's not going to run out of time. Okay. All right. Can everybody see this? Yeah. That, Miss VG, we'll hold on a second. Okay. Okay. No rush, guys. No rush. Tell your assistant and the young guy behind you, besides you, no rush. We have enough time. I'm going to tell all the students and the, and the parents. Well, because of the technical issue teacher just had, we're gonna, the class today, we're gonna extend it another 10 more minutes, okay? 
So we'll finish, uh, we'll finish uh, six, 6, 10 to 6, 15, all right? Okay, go ahead, okay. continue. All right, so you're going to learn all about abacus and how you use your fingers to learn the value and how to move the beats to add and subtract, multiply, divide, everything, okay? So some, some basic things that you need to know. Uh, you will be using six fingers. That's the new method they introduced. When you join in this program, you will be doing this, okay? So your thumb, everybody say, I add with my thumb. I want to hear it. Everybody say it. I add with my thumb. I add with my thumb. I love it. Okay, so all the lower beats the below this bar is one, one, one in value. One, two, three, four. How do I take away with a pointer? Take away one, two, three, four. So add with my thumb, take away with my pointer. All right? And then all the fives, the beat um, above this bar, there's only one beat, but the value is five. So you, you sorry, sorry about that, guys. All right, we can fix any problem, right? So add with my thumb, one, two, three, four. Take away with my pointer, one away, two away, three away, four away. And the five is the beat above the bar, which is I'm using my top finger to push it down. That means I'm adding. I'm using the top finger to push it away, and that means I'm subtracting. So what number comes after five? Six. That means we use a special finger movement, which is called close pinch. So I push one from the bottom, try from the top. That means I'm adding six. How I take away the six? Uh, that is open scissors. Can you show me the scissors signal? The symbol of scissors when you use your hand? This is scissors, right? So you push the beads away like that. You took the six away. How do I show seven? Pinch. You press five from the top, two from the bottom together, seven. How do I take away seven? Open scissors. You push the two away and the one, uh, five away from the a bar, then it's take away seven. How do I add eight? Close pinch. Two, uh, two, three from the bottom, one from five from the top. I got eight. Now I take away eight is open scissors. I push the three away and the five away. I took eight away. All right. How do I show nine on the abacus? Four from the bottom, five from the top. Close pinch. That means I'm showing nine on the abacus. Now, how do we take away the nine? Open scissors. I push the four beads down and the five away. Now I took nine away. So the beads and the values are from one to nine, which is one, two. If you push one bead to make it touch the bar, it's one. You will be seeing that in the package. So you'll be doing the activity pretty soon. Okay, guys? Yes, this will be the abacus, once you join in this program, it will look like this. The individual abacus each student will be getting. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four. And then the top beat above the bar is five. All together, you need to know about nine beats, how to add all the way to nine, how to take away all the way to nine. Okay, and all the numbers are related to one to nine over and over and over. Um, one beat. That means the value of the lower beads are one in value. One, two, three, four. And the value of the bead above the bar is five. Always all the upper beads are five in value. All the lower beads are one, one, one each. Okay, so how do I say six? How do I take six? Five and one from the bottom together. Now it's six because even though you're looking at one bead, the value of that one is five. So five plus one, six. Now take away six is open scissors. Now seven is five and two. Take away seven, I push it away from the bar. Now I took it away. Eight is three from the bottom, five from the top. Pinch it together, now it's eight. Now I have to take away eight in the question. I push the three beads from the lower and one bead from the top, which is five. I took away the eight. Now how do I show nine on the abacus? Four from the lower, five from the top, all together it's nine. So when I count, when I look at it, I see only five beads, but the value makes the difference, which is five comes from five, six, seven, eight. So now 
uh, and nine. So total nine. Now I take away nine means I push them away from the bar. I took it away. Now, now you know a little bit about abacus. Do you understand or no? Do I go through that one what more time? I want to add 10. Oh, good question. I love you. Whoever asked that question. Beautiful. All the beads in the, the middle rod of the abacus is called home rod, home row or unit rod. They have both names. Some teachers use home rod because you start your day from home. So you start your work on the abacus from the middle rod. It's called home rod. So all those are, the, we don't talk about place value in here, but it's easy to understand the concept better if you use it a little bit. So once column numbers, the one on the left side of the home rod is all tens. So at 10, if you push one B on the 10th rod, it's 10. This is 20, 30, 40. And if you add that, that'll be 50. Okay, all together, how many now? 90. <laughs> Who said that? Me, I want yoga. to see that child's face. Amazing. Uh, Amazing. Yes, that means you are a pro already. That's Does 50, that mean the right side? 50, 70, 80, 90. Wait, okay, all know. these are ones. These are tens. These are hundreds. If you push one bead, the value is 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. How much is that now? All together. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. 100. Somebody said 900. That person is right. Lovely. So, so what about to the right side? The right side, you will use it for division. When you learn division in level five, when you, you're starting with level one first when you're in the program. And then level two, you will learn all the formulas. There are 32 formulas you will be memorizing and applying it. In level three, we introduce multiplication. In level, slightly, a times table. And then level four, actual multiplication question using abacus method. Level five, you will be using the right side for your division questions. Did I answer your question clearly? Miss Vijay, yeah. there's a one more one more question from a pom pom. Pom pom, go ahead. Uh, you'll be a little bit confused. Yes. Ask oh, your I'm question. so confused. I don't know what how how to like use it. I'm really confused. I have uh, no idea. Which one? Which one? You don't know how to use all of it. Okay. <laughs> when, when you get the abacus, sweetheart. Okay. When you get the actual abacus, when you come to my class, everything will make sense. Okay. All right, pom pom, pom pom. Don't worry. Just be patient. And uh, and uh, in the future, we'll have more chance, okay, Pom Pom? Yes, yes. Um, you know what, Michael? Uh, he's the type of person, hands-on experience will make him understand better, okay? Yeah, he's very smart. He said, okay. Okay, continue, please. Oh, I love it. Okay. Yes. Can I show you the same thing? Whatever you have seen here is on a flashcard, okay? If you push one bead, remember I said it's one, right? All the lower beads are one, one, one point in value. If you push two, it's two, right? Two bead. Now when you push three, now how you call this? Three, right? When three. you push one more, it's four. So you see the same impression on the card. It's called flash card. When oh, I show you, you, okay? You will be doing this activity a little bit later. When I show you this card, you have to look at this. Not see what you okay. That's everything mixed. When you see something like this, what is the value of the card? One. One, because there's only one B touching the unit rod and the unit dot, right? That means you call it one. When you see, how much is this? Who can tell me? Two. 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 Because how did you figure that out? And I want that um, uh, the student who asked Michael, you're so confused. I want you to look at this and tell me, my dear, what is this? How many beads are touching the bar? Two. Two. So what is the value right now? Two. Beautiful. Yeah. Does it make sense now? The, is a little bit okay now? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. All right. 
and the same student i want you to look at this all right because, uh, i want you to understand and love this program okay how many beads are touching the home dot Three. Three. What is the value? When you say value, you better say three. three. Is it getting easier now? Do you understand now? Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Four. Okay. Four. How many bees are touching the home dot? Four. Four. Good. Four. So you can't because they are one point in value, so it's four. So what is the value? Four, right? Four. Okay. Aha! Uh -huh. A tricky one coming up. Five. Hi. Oh my God. Mwah. Love you. It's Someone because the top attention. one is going down. All right. Because it's above the bar. So and even though you look at one down. bead, the value is not one, it's five. So the value of that bead is? Five. 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 Good. Okay. Another tricky one coming. What Six. is this one? Six. Six. Whoa. I want you in my class. You better come join with me. Okay, so this is six. And what is this one? Seven. 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 Wow, amazing. You're right. Seven. Whoever Eight. said the right answer, what is the value Eight. of this one? Eight. Eight. Yes, Eight. you're right. Look at that. What is the value of this one? Nine. Nine. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, another tricky one. This is definitely tricky. Pay attention. What is this one? Five. Ten. Oh my God. What is happening? Why can't I trick you anymore? I know. What is this oh, one then? It's eleven. Ten plus one. Yes, exactly. Ten plus one. I said on the left side, all the ones here are ones. These are tens. If you see another rod, those will be hundreds. So we don't see a hundreds rod. We see only one rod and ten rod, so it is eleven. So one oh, one ten and the ten rod. There's one here, so ten plus one eleven. Beautiful. And what is this one? Wow! Oh, wow. Oh. Yes, you got it. One plus two. One plus two. It's yeah. One. Ten plus you don't two. see one plus two. Look at the beat and write the value. When you write the value, you write one below and you put two below. So one and two beside each other, you call the number 12, right? 12. That's how you say it, right? What is 13. this one? 13. You can tell me, what is this one? 14. 14. Beautiful. 15. You can go up to 20 today, and then the rest will make sense if you know up to that. 15. 16. 16. That's 15. 15. What is this one? 16. 16. 17. Yeah, this is 16. 16. 17. 17. Right? 17. 18. 18. 18. 19. 19. 19. 19. And Someone's out of order. 20. 20. Only one number was out of order because it was sticking with my hand. That's all. All right. Now, Try to make can it you take order. your package? Or if you have that um, electronic one, that's also fine. I want you to take this package, or if you have it ready, can everybody take this out? The one that has the abacus picture. Do you guys have this? Or yeah. if you have this on your system, you can open that page. If you have it printed out, that's also fine. Can everybody bring that up? Can everybody? Good, thank you. Uh, the first student over there, she's able to uh, show it to me on the screen. I'm able to see it. Beautiful, thank you. Now, what does that page ask you to do, guys? I'm going to time you for two minutes. You're going to do, the first one takes no time. The second page. Okay, so what is the first one? Number one and the dot one with the middle, you match it. And then which abacus shows one? Who can tell me? The top one is just number yeah. one because the value of that orange yeah. color is yeah. one. So can everybody match it quickly? I gave you one minute only. Okay, let me set the timer. One minute and ready, set, go. Do the first page matching quickly. Done. Whoa, that's only five seconds. Already. 
Okay, beautiful. Now, um, then I'm not timing you anymore because you guys are super smart. Shall we turn to page two? Now, the what does it ask you to do, guys? Write down the value of beads, right? The second right. page says write down the value of beads. I'm going to give you 30 seconds because you guys are too smart. You don't need one minute. Can you do page two in 30 seconds? Everybody start. Okay, 30 what are you seconds. I'm timing you for. What are you supposed uh, to do? I'm setting 30 seconds. And to 9 30. Start. Wait, now what are you supposed to do? The second do? page. Look at the beads and count the number of value for that bead and write it down. Oh, okay. All right. Count the beads, write the value. That's the uh, activity on page two. And you have only 12 seconds left. 11, 10, 9, fast. And the time's up. How many of you able to finish it? Okay, how many of you finished only one row? Uh, me. So, so difficult. Oh, who said that? Um, I want to know that uh, student's name. Um, hey. Felix. I Felix, don't okay. Know. Can I help you, my friend? Um, so, um, I would love to help you. Okay. Are you on page two? Um, yes. Yes, thank you. Uh, the first uh, impression, you see one blue color bead touching a black line. You see that? Yeah. Good. So that means the value of that bead because it's the, the, the bar, I said. Whatever the bead below the bar, the, the, or they are, the value is one. This is also one. So two ones will be just two. And this is also one. And that's one. So one, two, three, four. So the value, if you see one bead touching, the value is one. So how okay. many beads are touching the bar? How many blue bees touching that uh, black line, uh, Felix? Um, so... There's only one blue bee touching that black line, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you write number one at the bottom rectangle box right there below. Yeah. Can you write one? Yeah. Beautiful. So now you know. That's it. It's very simple. How many blue bees do you see that are touching the black line? Um, so in the, in the second box, in the second in the box, box, how many two? beads are touching the black line? Felix? Um, um, so two? Two, yes, right number two at the bottom. Okay. Okay, uh, Felix, can you hear me, sweetheart? Uh, uh, yeah. What is, how many blue beads are touching the black line on the third box? Um, three. Three, so right number three. Okay, do you understand a little bit? Yeah. Getting better at it now? Yeah. Yes, thank you. Uh, how many blue beads are touching the black line in the fourth box? Um, four. Four, so right number four below, okay? Okay. Good. Next one is kind of tricky though. You see uh, the blue bead sitting on top of the line, not below, right? Yeah. When the blue bead is touching on top of the line, it is five, even though you look at one bead, Oh, Miss Sweetie, it's only one bead that I'm looking at and you're telling me it's five? Yes, that's how they programmed it. If you have to give the value five for all the beads sitting on top of that bar, okay? Okay. All right, so now the value is five because the blue bead is sitting on top of that line, okay? Okay. Can you write five? Okay. Good job. Okay, so from that, the next box will make sense because uh, there's one bead sitting on top, one is uh, uh, below. So the top one, because it's sitting on top of the bar, it's five plus one at the bottom. So five plus one will be? Um, five plus one will be six. Beautiful. So can you write six at the bottom of that box? Okay. Okay. So the next few uh, questions are very similar to what I just said. Can you finish the rest of the questions and tell me? Um, sure. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Felix. Right? I like the way you just said it very openly. I'm so confused. I don't understand. 
um, as a teacher, I have to make it clear for you, feel comfortable and happy, okay? Miss VJ? Yes? The, how do, do your students like calculate it without using it and using their minds like so fast? I know, isn't that amazing? When I first put my son in the program, I was so amazed by the students in my son's class, already doing an amazing job. That's why I put my boy in the program. He finished all 10 levels. He's a graduate. You see, he must graduate now. And he's doing amazing in his university studies. Yes, uh, it looks amazing. But when you do those work in this program, you will do the questions like them. You know why, Felix? You know how they did it, Felix? Um, no. First, they started like the simple, basic beads and the values, like the way I taught you. And you see, you do simple questions, two plus one plus three, that's easy, right? Yeah. Right? And then you gradually, the questions will get harder and harder, and you will learn. We will teach you everything. At the beginning, you use abacus for all the questions. And then when okay. you go to level two and three, there's small mental questions. That means you don't use your abacus. You just look at the numbers and you picture the abacus in front of you and you move. Uh, okay, if I ask you, Felix, add one. You use your thumb and you imagine the abacus in front of you and you push your imaginary bead. And then I'll say two and you push two more beads up and you picture the total abacus beads on your abacus right now is three. So you, we go slowly, step by step. And at one point, you don't need abacus at all. You will do all the questions like those three boys. Okay? okay. You okay. will be able to do that too. I guarantee on that because you're showing a lot of interest, okay? Okay. Yes, you will amaze your friends and your teachers in school and your parents for sure. They'll be so proud of you. Even what Christmas. Even even Christmas time, you guys you guys can do a magic show during the Christmas dinner to amaze that's, all your family and your brothers, right? That's so right, right Michael. The lot of kids who do really good in math and they ask the teachers ask them, how did you do that? How did you finish that so fast? Oh, I got a program called UC Math. They said it very <laughs> proudly, you know. I learned from uh, Miss Viji. <laughs> I know. No, I'm so happy. It's my passion, Michael. I love to make everybody very comfortable. I want them to love the program and I want them to I excel and do well in their life. I really love I can it. Tell. Okay. I can tell. My, my case, my, my boy and my daughter, my son, my daughter will join. We'll join your right. class for sure. Oh, I would right. love that, Michael. Please send them to my class only. I, I want them to my class. Don't send it to anybody else. No, no, <laughs> okay. no, Anton. No, Anton's other teacher, only you. All right. I know. <laughs> because, because uh, you know what? There's already two smart, Michael. I showed them once. They all got it super fast. I'm so yeah. impressed. All right. I know. Um, I, I told yes, Anton. Felix, I was still there. Felix, my friend. Excuse me? Felix, sweetie. Felix, yes. sweetheart. Are you yeah. Uh, listening? Yeah. Can I hear the answers on the first row from you, my dear? Please, go ahead. Um, um, so the answer I've got in the first row is um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and seven. Excellent, see? You didn't need my help. You, you finished half of them all by yourself. So you are an uh, amazing UCMA student already, okay? See, um, and also, I've done the second row. It is two, four, one, three, six, seven, eight, six, nine, and six. Beautiful. Mwah. Love you. Got it. See, it's nothing. Piece of cake for you. All right. Wow, um, nice. Is, isn't that lovely, Michael? Yeah, he's very smart. So you guys are all smart. So good. Oh, so sweet. All right. Shall we turn to page number three? It is very similar to what we did on page three. So I don't want to waste time on that. I, I really love to do other activities with you. So you can do that for homework. Page but three? Page three is homework. Page four is homework. Again, matching. Okay, guys? Can everybody turn to page five? There's, there's little tricky questions there. Everybody on page five, right? I'm on page five. I'll show you later. Beautiful. Thank you, my friend. All right. On page five, it's just 
kind of easy on the first row and the second row is kind of tricky who can tell me the row b uh, first few answers um starting with maybe felix felix okay uh row b first question on page five what is the answer what do you think um so the first row uh, not row A. Row A is too easy. Row B, first question. You see two blue beads. What is the value? Um, 11. <laughs> Love you. 22. Yes. Uh-huh. 43. Yes. 24. Yes. And 55. Yes. Um, 66. So oh, maybe. yes. You Wait, did the tricky okay. one too, um, okay? Um, 88. Yes. Um, 99. Yes. Um, 77. Oh, yes, and then the last one? Um, 15. Beautiful. Okay, you know what? I don't have to worry about Felix anymore. Let me focus on somebody else. <laughs> you're so good at it. You said you're so good at it, but you don't need my help at all. All right? So I want please to turn to page number seven, guys. What does it look like? Um, everybody, turn to page seven. Uh, what page is it? Um, can you see a light uh, orange colored box with number seven on it on the seventh page? That's slightly different from other pages. So can you turn to page seven, everybody? Because the rest of them are very similar. So we don't need to waste time on that. Something different I need to focus on, okay? Right? Yes, Ms. Vijay? Can everybody hear me? Yeah, I have a okay, question. Okay, thank you, thank you. Because you guys are mute to your screen, I understand. But I assume that you and you you heard me and you're on page seven, okay? So, there's a uh, question. There's anybody, a question, Mr. Vijay. Felix, can you introduce your names? I want to call other students' name too. I don't want them to feel, oh, why is VJ calling only Felix all the time? I you want can, you to can make other, you everybody can special, okay? I want Ms. everybody Ms. to feel the same. I want everybody to yeah. feel that, okay? Hello, Miss Vijay? Yes? Yeah, you have to listen, you listen to me. You can call you, you, call you, you. Uh, you, you? Yeah, you, you, the students want to try, call you, you. Okay. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right. So page seven, the first one, instead of looking at the beads already there, you have to draw the beads. Can, um, I'm going to show you my paper. Uh, you can see my face and the screen because I pinned it. It's much bigger for you to see what's going on. See that first, first box and the number one is here and you have to draw one bead. That means you draw a tiny circle. That represents one. And what is the next number at the bottom? You're writing the value for the bottom number, okay? So that number is five. So where the five, uh, the bead five sits, it sits on top of the line. So you draw the circle on top of the line, okay? And the next number is two. So you draw two circles below the line. And then the next number is six. You put one sitting on top, one at the bottom. So it shows six. Your job is to draw the beads of the abacus for the given value. Do you understand, guys? Yeah. Yes. It's, so yes, you can mute the I finished it. To say that you heard me, so I understand that everybody uh, can hear me. That makes me not to repeat the same thing over and over, right? Excuse can everybody me? understand this? Excuse me? Yeah, do, do you guys know what to do? I just explained it. Anybody have any doubt or any question? I have a question. Yes, please tell me. Um, yeah. I'm Yo-Yo, I'm not... I'm Yo-Yo. Yes, Yo-Yo, yes, yo -yo, tell me. Um, what, what, what level is the, that you tell us what level is your what level is your classmate? Uh, 
the the three boys who came to do the demo for you guys you want to know about them yeah oh yeah um the one um the big tall boy who came and did all the hard questions he was he did the whole program from uh, level 1 to level 8 with me all the levels he finished everything he graduated yeah but 8 years before not now long 8 years has passed and he still remembers everything he's a university student now and he's able to remember everything i taught him and he's using it in his school work in his uh, math work in his daily life he's using it everywhere the other two boys they are in the other center but they're not mine but they're so excited to do the demo for me and uh, one boy is in grade 3 the other boy was in grade 5 um mr michael your teacher asked him remember at the beginning of the class they're not mine but they volunteered to do the demo for me okay okay yo yo yeah okay thank you okay you're welcome my friend all right so the rest of the pages uh, this is a fun activities you're going to do that for homework okay so do anybody have any doubt on this page you can ask me now no i finished Wait, it what homework okay yes oh somebody is asking me a question who is that what homework me ah uh, the package the package has a lot of other fun activities it goes up to page 12 okay we were on page 7 oh. so 8 9 10 11 12 are just fun activities we don't have to waste time on that i want you guys to do something for me can everybody take a piece of paper or notebook whatever you have and a pencil miss we we yes uh the whole time i was actually trying to take my print out could you tell me where was the page okay no problem uh um who is that i'm talking to right now what's your aditya. name aditya say that again aditya okay all right we did page 1 it's matching you match the dot with one dot b with the number 1 and the b that showing one in value and then you look for two dots with the two number two and the b with the two in value okay okay and then page number 2 is you're writing the value of the beads at the bottom of those boxes okay okay but thank you but could you tell me where is the print out um if you have these um pages in your uh, i think anton sent it to all the students it should be in your email you can look at it if you want to print it out you can print it from your computer it should be in your email my friend okay thank you okay all right so we're going to do some fun activities i want everybody to take a notebook or a piece of paper if you have notebook that's fine If you don't have a notebook, a piece of paper would do, and then get a pencil, please. Uh, excuse me, this is Aditya's dad. Uh, oh, Aditya, yes. Uh, I I I couldn't find any name. Um, oh, Aditya is just doing demo for me. He he may not have that. He can oh, watch I... everybody. That's it. Okay, thank you. All right. All right. Um, everybody, can you take your notebook and pencil? Okay, ready for some fun? Yes. Yeah. Yes, good. Now I'm going to show a flash card. You're going to quickly write down the value of that flash card to your notebook, okay? And I will test you. You got the answer correct or not? Ready? Ready? Yes. And remember, flash card. that means it goes like a flash and moves out of your sight super fast so pay attention your attention is very very important okay don't feel sad that if you're not getting the answer correct so you need to focus ready the first card look at the b and write the value quickly to your notebook and the second card coming up on the screen look at the screen and write the value to your notebook one below the other third Card coming up. 
Eyes on the screen, please. Write the value quickly to your notebook. Don't say the answer out loud. You don't help your friend. This is kind of like a test. Next card. Write the value quickly. And the next one. And next. And next. 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 Next, and the last one. All right, now, who can tell me the first three cards number that you have in your notebook? Me, first me, three, first, me, me, me. just put your hand up. Um, yes, and uh, can you tell your name, please? Me. And uh, the girl with the white t-shirt, she put yes, her hand up. Say that again. Jackie. Jackie, can you tell me the first three numbers, please? One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, who is ready for the next three numbers on your paper? Me. Who is ready? Me. Who can okay. share the next three numbers? Me. The next three numbers are four, five, yeah. six. Four, four five, five, six. six. Somebody said it. That's right. Four, five, six is correct. Who can share me the next three mm -hmm. numbers after six that you have? Seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine. Somebody said it right. All right. Next three numbers. The last three numbers, please. 10, 11, 12. 10, 10 11, 11, and 12. 12. Beautiful. Okay. Oh, this it is what you'll be doing, but much faster when you are actually coming to my class, okay? Because this oh. is a uh, very first class. It is not fair if I move it, move the card super fast. It is so unfair uh, to you, so that's why I didn't move the cards super fast. But it will be it really fast when you actually do that with me in my class, okay? Now, another fun activity. You must have your paper and pencil ready. Uh, look at the board. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. Don, can I have a marker, please? Yeah, All right, this is called speed writing. I will set my timer to one minute, okay? And then look at this board. When I say write the numbers down, you will be writing 10 numbers in a row and you will underline it. When I say ready, set, go, you're writing the numbers over and over and over as fast as you could. Don't do anything yet. I'm just showing you. Uh, nine, one, eight, two, seven, three, six, four, five, five. Okay, if I write that number on the board, my students will be copying that first. Okay, can you copy that number to your paper? Nine, one, eight, two, seven, three, six, four, five, five. Can everybody write that down? Two, seven. Is everybody ready? I wrote it already. Beautiful. When I say ready, set, go, ready. I'm going to do the same speed writing with all of you. Okay, watch me or look at your notebook and do it. Okay, ready, set, go. You keep writing the same number over and over and over, but fast. Let's see who can write most digits. Same number repeating over and over and over from left to right. Don't stop as fast as you can. Mommy, you distract me. I can write it for I'm sorry. I will shut up. Okay, stop. 
I'm able to do, he chose 10, okay? If you skip count by 10, you know the total. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. I did 120 digits per minute. That's Miss Vijay's speed. What is your speed? How many digits you did in one minute? Who can tell me? Eight. I did 100. Eight so that means 120. You were able to do beautiful, beautiful. I did the same as you. Ah! Hey, who did that? Hey, you can't compete with me. <laughs> I got 100. I'm a teacher. I should be faster than you. <laughs> I got 110. The same. <laughs> oh my God, you guys are amazing. Yes? Yes, Jackie? How many you have? I get only five. That's okay. You will get better and better, okay? You better come to my class. All right, next one is called jumbled dictation. What is that? I call out the numbers, 10 numbers in a row, super fast. You have to listen very carefully. I will not stop in the middle and you cannot stop me. Oh, what is the second question? Oh, I didn't hear you. Oh, you're too fast. No complaints, okay? You listen, you get it, you get it. If you skip it, too bad. Leave it, just listen and break the number as fast as you could onto your paper. At the end of it, I will call up the numbers again. You may check your class work. Class is over. Okay? No, the, uh, it's okay, it's class is not over. I'm okay to give you a um, few extra minutes. I'm fine with that, okay? All right, ready? Okay. It is called jumble dictation. Can everybody write JD short form? Can everybody say JD? It's called jumble dictation, okay? JD. All right, ready? Short, short form for jumble dictation. Listen to the numbers and write it down. 96, 50, 48, 81, 23, 61, 30, 79, 52, 17. 52, 17, 17. Okay, I just called out 10 numbers. Okay, now you're going to, one person volunteered to tell me the first two numbers. Who can tell me the first two numbers I have on your paper? Can I do it? Yes, do somebody. It. Okay, yes. 96 and 50. That's it, yes. Someone said the first two numbers correct. 96 and 50, if you see that on your paper, give yourself a check mark. Who can tell me the next two numbers on your paper? 48 and 81. 48 and 81, that is correct. Who can tell me the next two numbers after 81? 23 and 51. 23 and 61, yes, got it. After 61, next two numbers, 30, who is 79. volunteering? 30, 30 and 79, beautiful. Next, last two. Who can tell me the last two numbers? 52 and 17. 52 and 17, beautiful. Another fun one coming. This is called jumble dictation, okay? And it could be much faster than that. I didn't uh, do that mean thing to you on the first day. It will be much faster than this, okay? All right, maybe another two, three minutes, that's all. Okay, let's, let's finish quick, uh, wrapped up, okay, please. Okay, all right, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Michael. Okay. I'm going to give you a number. You're not writing that number. You're writing the next number that I'm saying. So you need to listen carefully, okay? You write the next number that I'm saying. Okay, ready? What do you mean next number? That means if I say, uh, if I say seven, you don't write seven, you write eight. If I say nine, you write 10. Okay, if I say 11, you, your job is to write 12. If I say 13, you write 14. Oh, okay. Okay, oh. I'm, testing you. I'm testing your listening skill. Got it? Right? Okay, ready. 15, you write the next number that comes after 15. 18, the number comes after 18. Okay, 31, 46, 83, 72, 45, 23, 
37, 93. Okay, who can tell me the answers? Well, I do it? The first two yes. are 16 and 19. 16 and 19, yes, first two numbers, 16 and 19. And then? 32 and 47. 32 and 47, beautiful. And the next two numbers? 84 and 73. 84 and 73, amazing. Next two numbers? 46 and 24. 46 and 24, beautiful. Next, last two numbers, please. 38 and 94. 38 and 94, Mwah. Michael, we're done. Awesome.